So the problem with Mr. Rogers and all the inter the all the entertainers of the past and everyone that currently exists is that they're not telling people the Coco secret. Okay, and so everyone ditches these people over time because it's not satisfying. So okay, I I'm here to set people free, okay, and tell them the truth from God. Okay. Um so um yeah. It's not about me, it's about God being glorified by God food, okay? Uh, but it's just, it's just so obvious, class. I'm like, God has been speaking to me about this like crazy. I remember going to a, just poking my head into a, um, a Trinity Western volleyball game here at the Langley Event Center. And you see, you know, a few people on the court doing a stressful activity, and then you see tons of dead people sitting in the stands, watching like it's just it's miserable it's a miserable way for people to spend their night i'm like god's like these people could all be dancing in love high on cocoa you know like it's just there's so many things that are just going to come to an end because people are set free okay so um you know um entertainment galore music galore like have you noticed how much of this crap just comes and goes because it's not satisfying okay um but if you switch to the diet I've been talking about, you'll be so set free from all of this nonsense. Um, and then you'll just be calling other people into the party. Okay, Remember, the kingdom of God is within you. Okay, um, Your happiest days can be spent completely alone, humanly speaking. God is always with you and in you. Um, I've said enough. I just, um, just... I mean, the number of... Like Dr. Phil, Oprah Winfrey, like just a number of false celebrities that literally it's just the whole misery loves company game where just like pe people who aren't healed just having chats with each other in order to try and feel better about each other and no one's actually declaring the answer. Well, I've declared the answer tons of times now. Okay. Cocoa with water first, God food first on a gluten-free, dairy-free diet and you'll be set 100% free from all of this uh, displeasurable trash, okay, that you've been turning to. Um, it's like, and you'll just be so free, and you'll feel so terrific. I mean, you're gratified, you're relaxed, you're calm, like, it's just like, nothing compares with it, okay. Um, so you can't touch dairy. I, I'm just so thankful the Lord told me to hack off all dairy because that just simplifies my life so much because the evil dairy industry, the cow milk industry, has worked its tentacles into so many products it's ridiculous, okay? And it's all a cash cow. That's where the term cash cow came from is the sickening, you know, um, dairy industry extorting as much money as they can from foolish, ignorant people as they can. Um, literally. It just it's disgusting um but um yeah so absolutely zero dairy um absolutely zero wheat or gluten um and then cocoa centric and you will be the happiest healthiest most gratified free beautiful human you've ever been in life guaranteed by the way you don't actually need to eat nearly as many vegetables as they've told you you have to eat the reason that vegetables have been so completely marketed to you You'll just eat whatever you crave based on the cocoa first diet, and you'll discover for yourself that you don't need or want like most of the vegetables that are marketed to you. It's all just um, digestive system clogging fiber that just ends up getting pooed out of you anyways. Um, f most vegetables are over ninety percent water, so you're just wasting your money. You don't even crave them; they taste like crap. They don't make you feel any better. In fact, they make you feel heavy. Um, but the reason that they are marketed to you in such abundance is because that's what can grow here. That's what farmers in North America can grow. They can grow vegetables, and if they can grow stuff for free, and they can come up with all sorts of dumb lies, but why you need to buy it and eat it, well then, they take your money again and again and again. And they just live this, and I'm sick of it. And everyone's sick of it, and it's time to set this whole world free. So it's it's very sad, but I've just done the math and the statist statistics on this from a global standpoint, God, like it's just it's amazing how cocoa makes you feel so much better that you see it literally tearing down borders between nations and that's actually what it's going to do you know and um it's just it's just very childish i mean 
You know, anything that's grown in Canada gets promoted by Canadians. Anything that grows in the United States gets promoted in America. Like, it's just like, well, guess what, kids? There's actually a global substance that trounces all of it, that grows close to the equator, um, that is going to bring unity and equality to the entire world. <laughs> um, and you have to admit it so that this silly inequality game between nations like where America is, truth be told, practically robbing much of the world, you know, with its phony American dollars that are now trillions in debt. Like, it's, it's, it's all going to come to an end for everyone's freedom. Like, it just, it's all based on disgratified people continuing to choose disgratifying things and it's over. Just, okay, it just, um, ay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's, it, <laughs> I've just, yeah, I've said enough. It just, the end of foolishness for the whole world's freedom is here. So I am the shining example of what to do. It's all diet, people. It's, you know, you pray and you ask Jesus Christ into your life. And then, so I'm here for the diet, you know, um, thing as well. Okay. It's just like cocoa-centric, gluten-free, dairy-free. You will feel so happy and so gratified. Um, and you'll just be like, wow. And I've heard from the Lord on this, so you're just going to see all this other trash just die. It's just it's just sickening. Like, it's, just, it's just lies. Like the farmers over here and just like what they grow and then what they sell. And it's like, hey, this is the coolest thing ever. And the internet has just made, oh, just like... Oh, it's just gross. All the things that have been marketed as superfoods, and most of them are little more than like sugar water. Like, even many fruits are just basically sugar water. And that's why, you know, the average produce mark just puts tons of sugary fruits in front of you. Because it's people's addiction to sugar water. And guess what? The cat's meow for human consumption is bitter because it glorifies the cross. And that's why it's hidden in the store. Wake up, people. It's just the game. It's, it's just such a stupid game. It's all based on greed, but I'm proud to say that there is an answer. There's a joy answer, which I've talked about thousands of times. This is not a hopeless life. This is not a hopeless situation. Okay, your, your body and your dietary problems are not hopeless. I've told you what the answer is. Okay. Um... But uh, there's just hordes of repentance from greed that are just go like it's just whoa, like basically every retail store in North America, basically every bar, every restaurant, every grocery store is already getting exposed with their pants down. Um, repentance is at hand. Um, it just I can't believe how wicked like and foolish the average human is in this world it's just disgusting they just chase dollars 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 and it's pure foolishness okay um i mean if you drink coco 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 and are gluten-free dairy-free you're so stinking happy so stinking gratified you're just like uh why are these people marketing all this crap to me and why does why is all of this other crap presented to me up front and center in stores everywhere oh because there's a lot of demons inside the people that own the store Supply the store, totally foolish children, like bad high schoolers that never graduated from a secular high school, totally lost, totally far from God, don't know his secrets, don't hear his voice, and yet they're fleecing the sheep by promoting crap to people and taking people's money. Pretty angering, isn't it? Once you finally get the truth from God, and now you're just calling people to be set free, you're here to be the champion of the poor and to help out the poor that have been abused by all this madness. And you're also here to strike down the evil demons on the other side of the game that have been fleecing the sheep and hosing people of their dollar by marketing all this foolish crap to us. That's why Coco is God's chosen King David. It is literally the great equality gem for the whole world. Okay? Um, and it's going to humble entire people groups. Okay? And... Um, I just, the end, like, the end of lies is here. No more lies divides by five. No more loss. These are words from the Lord. No more pain. 
these all these things that exist in heaven are now invading earth like crazy um pure joy packages that all divide by five okay but um i just now i'm just like no i just I, i'm just here to declare the truth you know a store like save on foods needs to repent like crazy a store like walmart needs to repent like crazy every store needs to repent like crazy do not be surprised that God is real and that God has a choice, like King David was a choice, okay, to actually gratify people and actually bring people total maximum happiness and wash all these other stupid marketed capitalist product offerings down the drain. And I've already explained it, but just do not be surprised that God is real, that God is happy, that God has an official chosen happiness choice for people cocoa powder with water that works that trounces all the competition that blows away every other thing for sale on the internet on amazon and in these stupid stores realize that everyone that has been promoting anything else except what i'm promoting is basically a false prophet a far from god idiot that is just far from god and just you know has been he, he secretly worships himself he worships his own biological family he worships his last name he worships the family farm he worships the family business um and he worships dollars and he's like hey business is good i got the farm i got my wife i got my kids business is good everyone everyone believes in you know my, what i can grow on my farm everyone keeps buying it hey i'm the king of the world no you're not you're far from god you don't know his voice and i'm here to tear it all down for everyone's freedom, including him. He doesn't even know what happiness is. I'm here to tell people what true happiness is, nutritionally, and in every speck of consumption that they can spend their dollar on. <sighs> for the glory of the human race that's made in the image of God and is supposed to be beautiful, supposed to be happy, supposed to be loving, supposed to be joyful, supposed to be everything that God dreams of them being, all based upon God food. Doesn't it make perfect, logical, worshipful sense that it's called God food and it makes you think of God and love God? And I love cocoa as double joy and I love you God as triple joy and I love you too God as quadruple joy and I love the sun as triple joy and I'm the true prophet because I do the math and all the words that I get from the Lord and everyone else is a liar and a fake and a phony shallow marketer? Yes. So you either obey me and enter into the cat's meow promised land or you can continue listening to the liars in the world that are so fake, so shallow, so ungratifying, and quite frankly, have been fleecing you and many of your friends for a lifetime. Including the entire coffee industry. And all of Starbucks. And every coffee shop. And the entire Coca-Cola company. You know, McDonald's, every fast food chain. They are all, they are all toast. They are all dead. They all suck. Praise God. And when I say praise God, praise contains the RS in symmetry, which equals cocoa. And remember, when I say God, it reminds me to drink my God food. And when I think of God food, it reminds me to praise God. And that's just the way God ordained it. <sighs> so praise God and thank God for God food. Um, get it on the true cat's meow of human dietary happiness and consumption happiness, physically speaking, period. Um, join the championship winning team that I am the leader of and dropkick all of these losers for a lifetime. They need to come around and repent and follow us. Otherwise, they'll be in the loser bin, okay, until it gets really painful for them to continue trying to promote their junk um, because they've already lost. <sighs>